Hello, my name is Molly Manley. I practice at the Crystal Clinic Orthopedic Center in Akron, Ohio. And today I'm gonna to talk about arthroscopic fixation of the scaphoid nonunion with biosearch bone grafting. So the scaphoid has poor bone supply and can lead to nonunion. Degenerative changes then can happen in 90 to 100% of patients in five years after injury, leading to a snack or a scaphoid nonunion advanced collapse wrist. These patients are typically young, which can create a great functional impairment. This can result in altered wrist kinematics, motion defects, and wrist osteoarthritis is likely to develop. The treatment of scaphoid nonunion can be open, which is a typical treatment. This has good success, but can have large incisions, especially if taking bone graft from the same incision. However, this jeopardizes residual vascularity and can damage capsular and ligamentous structures surrounding the scaphoid and leading to further stiffness. There's a limited approach described in 2006, which bone grafting was inserted percutaneously. However, the amount of bone graft was limited and repeat bone grafting was required in 12% of patients. And last is arthroscopic developed in 1997, and has shown faster union rates. There is an arthroscopic advantage. First, you can examine the joint, treat concomitant injuries, maintain blood supply, and decrease the soft tissue trauma with faster recovery and better aesthetics. The bone grafting options include autograft bone graft, which would be vascularized versus non-vascularized. There's also allograft and biosurge, which combines allosync with angel PRP from the iliac crest bone marrow aspirate. This is a perfect marrying of both biology plus scaffold and can be inserted arthroscopically. So next I'm gonna talk about a variety of cases that I have performed this way. First is a 23 year old male. He's greater than three months post injury where you can clearly see reabsorption of the scaphoid at the fracture site. Intraoperative dry arthroscopy images show first the non-union site, next is debridement of the site, and last is once this has been debrided. After inserting a biosurge and a headless compression screw, these are his x-rays at two weeks postoperatively, where you can easily see the non-union site. Just six weeks later, you can see cortical healing across the ulnar side of the scaphoid. The next patient is a teenage male that's over nine months post-injury. On his MRI, you can see AVN and avascularity of the scaphoid on the imaging. Intraoperative photo, again showing the non-union site, and after treating this with biosurge and a headless compression screw, these are his x-rays eight weeks out where the scaphoid remains vascular, there is no breakdown at the fracture site, and it appears to be healing well. Last is a 31-year-old male that is three months post-injury, again with resorption across the scaphoid non-union site. Intraoperative arthroscopy pictures show debridement of the non-union and then a probe showing the size of the non-union, which is over two millimeters. Here's an intraoperative video showing insertion of the graft. So first we put the bone graft through a cannula, which is in the mid-carpal radial portal. The graft is inserted through a syringe into the non-union site. After adequately packing the non-union site, a blunt probe is then placed to pack the graft more volarly. Then the cannula is reinserted, and this is continued until the non-union site is fully packed with the bone graft. This is the gentleman two weeks post-op, and last is six weeks later, again showing signs of cancellus and cortical healing of the fracture. Postoperatively, the patients are in a thumb spike a splint for two weeks, then a removable WHFO, and they start range of motion. X-rays are then done at eight weeks, and a CT scan at 12 weeks, with full activity after bridging callus is noted on the CT scan. In summary, scaphoid nonunion can be a bad problem if left untreated. Arthroscopic management has historically shown good results. A notable difference has been seen with biosurge. And in my practice, it has been a very cost-effective alternative with the unique packaging of both the bone marrow aspirate and the allosync bone grafting to treat non-unions. Thank you.